Yo, what up, y'all? I know I haven't done one of these talking videos in a minute, but we're back. And in this video, I'm gonna actually go fly to Atlanta in a bit because I really want to see Che perform. I've never seen him ever live. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna sit down with him, chat with him, watch him perform. And I've been planning these two big interviews in Atlanta. The first one is a bit more niche. It's with this producer, which I think you guys know. But the second one is an artist that I think you guys are gonna lose your mind over. Really big and relevant artist right now. But I figured I'm like, damn, I haven't taken you guys with me along the way in a long time. So let's do it today. Oh, it's also my birthday, by the way. So wish me a happy birthday in the comments. Heading right now to my gate on the way to Atlanta. New Uzi album just came out, EA2, so I'll probably listen to that properly on the flight. Off rip though, I listened to the first couple of songs and the second one was like the hardest, no doubt. Got to the hotel. Man, I really have no time. I'm gonna go to the Adidas Box Boys event, so come follow me along the way. I just, just pulled up to this venue. Heard like hella artists are gonna pull up that aren't on the flyer. So I know Bear One Boss and Chair on the flyer, but I think Tana, just hella artists. I'm sure there's gonna be some KTO fans here. So like, let's uh, let's just chill and see. That's a nice shirt. Yep. What kind of shirt is that? Uh, Hood by Oh shit, that's hard. Thank you. That looks like something that would be in an edit of your music video. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> something that like Noah would, would do. Yeah. I remember we did an unreleased interview like years ago. You remember like, how old are you bro? I was like fucking 15, 16. Literally. But I'm so glad like we did that and it didn't come out. Like I think that like it was really special for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm glad it didn't come out. Cause you were like a whole different person, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Completely. Like. I feel like I just matured since then, learned a lot. Cause like at that time you were just bubbling up, but now I think you're kind of like the face of the underground more. So, you know, what do you think like works so well? Like, what do you think that thing was? I think it was me being myself at the end of the day. And I do shit for the kids. Like me being young, I don't got nothing but the youth with me. So yeah, we're really the future. So uh, I just want to bring everybody together. And I feel like that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I think part of it is because of your visuals, bro. Like you're, you're doing it like no one else. Mm. And I think a big part of that is Noah. Right, Noah is a very, very, very talented guy. Uh, me and him known each other for a minute now. Uh, he's edited a lot of my shit, actually. Our world's just intertwined, it was crazy. Like it's definitely something that's, uh, what would you call it? Eye catching, really, yeah. for sure. So what do you think is the best video you've done? I'd have to say, you know, actually, I'm gonna say the Miley Cyrus video. Mm. Something about that video really just, it really matched the song for me. Yeah, I was gonna say pizza time. Yeah, nah, for sure. That's a good ass one. Do you give out pizza at your shows? Is that still a thing? Y'all boy like pizza? <laughs> nah, I did that like once, okay. but they were <laughs> tweaking. I, yeah. I see you working by yourself a lot, and I love that, you know? There's a lot of like electronic elements. Do you see yourself working with someone else? Like, that's like a goal in the next like year or two for you? I just really wanna step outside my comfort zone. Like, I don't like being labeled or put in a certain group of rappers or whatnot so yeah if i were to work with somebody it'd be like something that's like like you said electronic like snow strippers i like snow strippers a lot yeah saw baby Lance yeah. And those yeah, are like yeah, yeah, three yeah. i could think of i would love to see you work with like a big reach but like a skrillex or like a even like two hollis i know he's like working with skrillex a lot but i feel like your worlds would collab really well you know yeah for sure yeah I, yeah chop it up with you guys is, is sick what y'all are doing. I just want to know first off, how the hell did Adidas even know about box boys? Like that's this. Bro, they're the ones who reached out um, Colorway and they kind of just connected the dots because Adidas wanted to throw a show and you know, who throw shows better than us. Yeah. yeah, so here we are. I asked Cole this when, when uh, Summer Smash was going on and I was like, bro, like what's the actual nerves like the day of the festival, you know? A gazillion thoughts yeah. going through your head. Like what, what are the thoughts? What are the nerves? It's the unexpected stuff that happens. For example, if y'all know, our last box fest Ended off with a banger. Yeah, that was crazy. And that's yeah. stuff you can't prepare for. But then it's like the tedious stuff, like the guest list and people trying to mop 50 deep. That's like, all right, come on. Yeah, yeah. Even the interviews, when they'll bring a bunch of people it's on. Like, you tell someone five, and they'll go, all right, 15. Yeah. Right. And like, especially if you book like a spot or, or like uh, like a peer space or whatever, oh. and then like the host is like, yo, it's you never. They're on your head. For you sure. can't remember that. I remember anymore. one of your interviews, you had like a list of four or five, and they pulled up like 15 deep, and you're like, we can't do it. And they're like, all right, man. It became like an issue or something. Oh, like yeah. That. And I was like a street artist. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. I mean, this is like your full-time thing, right? Yeah. You guys built like a career off 
throwing concerts, which is like kind of unconventional when you think about it. Like if you ask someone like 15 years ago, what do you do for a living? You told them what well, box was, crazy. right? What right? the fuck is that? For the kid watching like that wants to have some sort of career like this where they throw shows or like experiences like, I know what's your honest, honest advice. Don't let barriers keep you trapped. I think me and Gio growing up kind of got projected this path, like you have to graduate, you have to do this, and he's a dropout, I'm a dropout. I'm a dropout too. Gang, dropout <laughs> gang, <laughs> yes sir. Don't get, don't feel like you're, you're trapped, you know, because I feel like some people feel like they're stuck in a cycle, you want to break the cycle, so I feel like taking that leap of faith in yourself is, you know. You really don't know if it's gonna work until you actually try it. There's like, yeah. I think that fear, you gotta really like blur out of your mindset. Bro, we're gonna die. It could yeah. be tomorrow, it could be next year, but like, what do we wanna do? Like, like it's really hard to run a business, in music especially, but like the reward is you just oh. can't, you can't like oh. explain that, you know? It's like, yeah, for example, like seven months for like, what, four hours of fun? Yeah. But it's like the best four hours ever. we'll ever have. Who's the dream headliner for Box Boys? Like one you day. Give yours, I'll give mine. Yeah. Ocean. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, yeah. oh, that's fair. I grew up on him. What about um, the next box fest? I would say just not doing the same artist. Yeah, I think yeah, people, yeah. that's, you know, you can only, you cap yourself so much. Different yeah. genres and like bigger artists, because like you can only do so much with the underground. Because like, you know, you know, underground shows are like, what, 1K cap, but you want to do like 5K, you want to do 12K. So yeah. you kind of have to like get an artist adjacent to that. Certain fan base is trying to hold us to like, Get opium, get opium, where yeah, you just yeah. get summers and autumns. Like, like we're gonna have the power to mix, mix, mix it up. That's He's the like, cool part, yeah. Keep, keep crushing it, bro. I appreciate it, bro. You, you too, bro. Congrats on everything, bro. Of course, bro. Of course, of course, course. From the jump. <laughs> Holy shit. shit. Looking at it like, what the fuck is that? No, I know what this is. I just, <laughs> bro, I don't have my fucking glasses. I left yeah. my house. Bro, how you been? I feel like I haven't seen you since, uh... Has it actually been a long time? It has. We were at, uh... A duop cane and hard rock. Duop and hard rock, bro. That was a long ass I time. Know. Yeah, I can't believe that's how long it's been. I've seen you. I just see you on my phone every day, so I just be like, <laughs> dude, I watch every interview. I seen oh, DK. Man. I seen Molly. Who else did you do recently? I'll tell you. Uh, we did a Rema interview, which is like kind of crazy. I seen Rema, yeah. Hard rock, uh, Bryson Taylor. I don't know. We've been doing I seen some Bryson. like. How do you feel like that? Uh, your favorite artist is free now. Um, it's honestly big, bro. Not even just for me. What's up? For everybody around me, has just been freaking out about that shit. Like, yeah, the fact that. The Thug is home. It's pretty big, bro. Um, it was free thug, not thug free. Cause I remember you did uh, that. You did those videos with his director. B -B, I thought yeah. that shit that you did was so underappreciated, bro. Down to like the color grading and the contrast. Everything, and everything about it, bro. You know the sharpness in the video, everything. Yeah. I feel like over time, though, people will like start to appreciate it. As more music comes out, people will start to look more into discography and history. Yeah. Start acting like they've been there since the beginning and like they appreciate it. You know how music goes, bro. What are you, you listening to right now? Like, Last I, song I was yeah. listening to Maria. I'm drunk by Thug and Travis. Okay. And okay, Justin okay. If I was an A and R at a label, I would just look at your SoundCloud likes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like who you're following and shit. No, I got you know, that shit. Who have yeah. you been uh, working with behind the scenes? Like, I got some shit with, you know, Alexa Gates? Yeah. What? Me and her made some shit. I'm thinking about dropping that. I can't really album. picture that, though, to be honest, because her music Because it's like, we made some, like, bro, I can't even compare it to anything. Like, she did the boom back on my beat. How you been? Really busy. I'm trying to hire, like, new hosts for KTO, you know? Like, I want another young kid to have their own show on KTO. Then people gonna love you, though, so. Yeah? You gotta get somebody who favors you, somebody who's, like, just similar to you. You'll yeah. find somebody, though. There's well, a lot of hungry yeah. people out here, bro. You know, it's funny, bro. Your mom is dope. She has messaged our page, like, five times. Because, <laughs> like, anytime we post about you, she's like, I'm gonna yeah. call it. <laughs> right now? Yeah. Hey, say hey to kids take over, mom. Hey, what's up? It's Arshan right here. Hey! We, he talking about, we were just talking about you. He talking about you be DMing the account. <laughs> <laughs> Say hey, where my low at? Show my low. Say hey.
Hey, we're here. I just got off stage. Hey, TL. Straight from Canada. Come here, Atlanta. Hey, TL. I'm so proud of you, bro. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really, I appreciate the love. Yeah. Like, it's like, without you, like, close to me and stuff, I probably wouldn't be able to be on this side. I need everybody on stage. I need to stay clear. We gotta turn this shit the fuck up. Yeah. 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 super long night but now on the way to an interview with someone who is like very rare clayco such an important producer is behind so much of destroy lonely's work i have a feeling the real kto fans will love this but yeah i got my boy charlie with me he always helps me film in atlanta and then jelani miller who i'm sure you guys know i always post his work they're gonna help me film this and I'm super excited all right ready set and let's get it What's going on guys? You're watching Kate's Take Over right now, chilling here in Atlanta. And I'm doing a very rare, very, very rare, but like niche and special legend in my eyes. Got the interview with Clayco. What's up, bro? Cool. All right, so obviously I can't show you guys a bunch, but I rest assured this is an amazing interview and you're gonna learn a lot. And now I'm on the way to do a really big one that I have been prepping for. So let's get it. Psych! So you guys know that big interview that I had planned? Um, it like literally just, just got canceled. I got the text on my phone. So now I'm at this park. What is it called? Frankie? Frankie Allen Park. Yeah, I don't want to say who the artist is because uh, he said he still wants to do it. Well, he or she wants to do it. It's a he, it's a he. But yeah, that's the game though. I feel like if this was two years ago and I was making this video, you guys would see me so depressed and like, oh man, like, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna quit this channel and all these things. Even this deep and far into the industry, it like still happens. And uh, I'm not really mad at it at all because you just gotta be so good at what you do that you can't depend on one play or like one person to make sure your business thrives you know like you just got to move on and keep doing you but yeah go ahead guess what it was in the comments you know who i can say canceled on me though uh, and i'm about to say this with no disrespect because I, I still think she's cool but caribou i was supposed to do a caribou interview like two days ago she gave me her number we texted everything but she just like randomly ghosted me the day of but then i'm like hey man like she has a life these artists have lives outside of their music careers and she probably just got some stuff going on i low-key think it was because she did that ddg podcast and she got like shot on because of the stuff she was saying in it where she's like damn I, I shouldn't be doing any press i just wish i knew but yeah really bummed about that because i wanted to do the caribou interview i've been supporting her 
a lot lately. Life has brought me so many blessed opportunities lately and this year. I always think to myself now, when you get to do your dream and you make a living off of it, you just have to accept the bad with the good. And I'm like so, so used to that. So cool seeing the character development in me. But yeah, I'm gonna head back to New York tonight and uh, I'm gonna cook up a little vlog for you guys, a full year in New York. Full year in America, actually. A lot to share about my experience and how much it changed my life and me. And I appreciate you guys tuning into this Atlanta vlog. I'll catch you guys in the next video.